five dimensions of deliverance that we have in the gospel is number one we were delivered from satan we were delivered from demons we were delivered from the power of demonic spirits too many christians don't get this that's why they are where they are in colossians chapter 2 from verse 14 the bible told us where the battle the warfare between men and demons took place listen when we are wrestling with principalities the wrestling is no longer a fight you are fighting because you are not sure of victory it's actually a battle of understanding the battle between principalities and powers is a battle of understanding they want to know whether you know what has been done for you because the real battle of victory was not fought between us and principalities it was fought between christ and principalities when he took our place that was when that battle took place but because these beings are rebellious spirits although legally it has been settled they will still come to you to find out if you know so the battle with principalities and powers is actually a battle of understanding of who you are in christ so that you will know the asnas to dislodge in colossians 2 14 he said when jesus was on the cross he said he blotted out every handwriting of ordinance that was against you this is what gives principalities legitimacy if they come to you they want to find out if there is any case against you in the spirit they capitalize on the legality of that case in order to deal with you the bible said on the cross he said jesus blotted out every handwriting of ordinance that was against us and he said these writings that were contrary to us he said he took it out of the way and he nailed it to the cross he didn't stop there if jesus stopped here you would have had a basis to fight with satan you would have taught the devil there's no more legality but jesus didn't stop here the bible said he went further having spoiled if he stopped by taking the legality you would have had now those of you who are lawyers you understand this the reason you are able to litigate for a citizen of the country is because of the constitution the constitution provides legality for a man to defend his right so if jesus only took out the writing it would have been enough for you to stand and defend your right but jesus didn't stop there he went a bit further after taking the legality away he entered the battle arena and he said having spoiled principalities and powers he said he made a show of them openly he didn't do it in hiding because if it were done in hiding the devil would have said it has not yet happened but now it is open god knows angels know demons know you are the only one who don't know every demon under heaven knows that the devil is already defeated every angel knows that the devil is already defeated god knows that the devil is already defeated even the devil himself knows that he is defeated but the devil suspects that you don't know and because he's a rebellious spirit he comes to you to check whether you know so he throws cancer at you and is waiting to see your reaction he throws a dream at you and is waiting to see your reaction and you dream and you say oh jesus the devil is come from coming for me say ah this one is not yet aware he calls people go there i've opened the door there go and take over he throws something and your response proves that you don't know but those of us who know when the devil show up we say where are you coming from are you not aware that the angels that did not keep their first estate he bound in prison under the bottomless pit are you not aware that having spoiled principalities and power he made a show of them by what authority have you come the moment you ask that question the devil will move back i didn't know you are where you say go nowhere because you have come you are in trouble higher 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 makata karota see these are the scriptures that intoxicate me the devil knows that i know he knows so the thing see, see the devil doesn't throw everything at every christian he avoids those who know he avoids them he said he made a public show of them triumphing over them this is why the bible calls you more than a conqueror you are no longer fighting to win 
you are only standing to insist on your victory the victory has already been achieved and you are telling the devil i am aware that the battle is over i am aware that i have won the battle i am aware that you are a defeated foe and so in the name of jesus i enforce that victory you cannot you cannot trespass it the second thing we have been delivered from is the word and the word system in john 16 33 he said be of good cheer he said i have overcome the world be of good cheer he said my peace i give you not as the world give it he has given us something bigger than the world and that's why first john 5 14 5 verse 4 he said whoever is born of god overcometh the world he said this is a victory that overcometh the world even our faith listen we have overcome the world this is why you cannot allow the world mentor you anymore many christians are not aware that we live in a realm higher than the world system don't let the world mentor you don't make yourself a slave of what you have been delivered from in james chapter 4 verse 4 it say you are doctor's generation it say know ye not that friendship with the world is enmity with god we have been set free love not the world the bible says first john 2 verse 15 to 17 neither the things that are in the world christians are in love with the ways of the world every music they hear is worldly they are dress code worldly everything about them does not give glory to god do, do, are you not aware that you are supposed to disciple the world how can the world disciple you and we are trying to infiltrate the church by bringing the garbage of the world system into the church from our music to our dancing to our talking because we don't know that we have been set apart the word church means set apart we have been called out we are not of the world the third thing we have been delivered from is seen first john 3 8 it said for this cause was the son of man made manifest that he might destroy the works of the devil the works of the devil is seen anybody you see sinning today is sinning for two reasons number one he doesn't love god enough because if he loves god the love of christ will constrain him number two anybody you see sinning today is sinning by choice because now we have power to live above sin because we were delivered from sin and that's why romans 6 14 said sin shall no longer have dominion over you don't pattern your life after sin don't program yourself to live in sin they are watching movies that are that are showcasing nudity and pornography why will you not end in fornication and masturbation you programmed yourself into sin with your will many christian families today watching big brother niger for three months and the whole topic is seduction and immorality barbaric practices exposing to the spirit man that should be beholding the glory and they end up becoming slaves of that which they have been delivered from you need to walk with the consciousness that sin should not have dominion over you and so you program yourself to live above sin because you have been delivered from the power of sin the fourth thing we were delivered from is death second timothy 1 verse 8 to 10 hear what paul said don't be ashamed of me the prisoner of christ he said be, be a partaker of the afflictions of the gospel and then he went to verse 9 he said concerning jesus now who had saved us and called us with an holy calling that's why we can be part of the world not according to our works but according to his own purpose and grace which he had given us in christ before the world began so this thing was given to us before the world began we just realized it in christ now in verse 10 hear what he said but is now made manifest by the appearing of our savior jesus christ who has abolished death and has brought life and immortality to light through the gospel death has been abolished listen don't let death threaten you there are many christians today they will literally faint at the slightest threat of death because they don't have assurance of eternal life the life that we have has secured us with god forever and ever in john chapter 11 verse 25 jesus said i am the resurrection and the life he said whoever believes in me shall not die 
and he said even if he were dead he said he shall live again we are above death don't let the torment of death kill you when your assignment is over and you have to give away your earthly tabernacle be rest assured that you will live on he said absence from the body is not condemnation he said it is presence with the lord in hebrews chapter 2 verse 14 and 15 hear what the bible said for as much then as the children are partakers of flesh and blood he said he also himself likewise took part of the same that through death he might destroy him that has power over death that is the devil and then he went to verse 15 he said and deliver them who through the fear of death were of the all their lifetime subject to bondage some of us are in bondage of fear because we don't know that death can no longer hold us captive if jesus overcame the grave then we too have overcome the grave we will live forever and ever in christ rejoicing with him in all eternity and finally what we were delivered from is the flesh galatians 5 verse 24 here is what the bible said it said and they that are christ's have crucified the flesh with the affections and lust the flesh has been crucified in christ the reason your flesh still torments you is because you make an occasion for it by the things you hear by the things you see and by the things you give yourself to rather as a christian who knows he has been delivered from the yoke of flesh this is what he does romans 8 13 you submit yourself to the holy ghost and he said the holy ghost will continually mortify the way a dead body is put in a mortuary that's what the holy ghost does to the flesh he mortified the deeds of the flesh he said that is when you shall live we can't live by the dictates of the flesh anymore we can't give the flesh an occasion anymore we have put on the lord jesus romans 13 verse 14 he said we have put on the lord jesus christ he said let us no longer give an occasion to the flesh this is the power of the gospel the flesh has no dominion over you sin has no dominion over you the devil has no dominion over you the world has no dominion over you and death has no dominion over you in christ and in the gospel you have been set free and you have been set